Gemini, welcome to your July 15th through the 30th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to go Under the Sea with the Under the Sea Tarot deck. Um, but I wanted to let you know this is a preview August. We're going to go to Wonderland. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. So you'll, you can go to Wonderland with me in August. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, this is the Tarot in Wonderland. I'm like, uber excited about that. The cards are, like, out of this world. Uh, so let's get started. What is the central theme of Gemini's reading for this month? What is the central theme of Gemini's reading for this month? Remember, I am a Gemini moon, so I'm also a Gemini. Uh, one card for the central theme of a Gemini's reading. One card for the central theme of Gemini's reading. Okay. So it's time to move on, Gemini. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. That resonates with me. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but with me. Okay, so I need three cards for Gemini's internal world, please. Three cards for Gemini's internal world. Alright, so the first we have the King of, um, this is King of Shells, but the King of Cups in the traditional Rider Wade Smith deck. Um, so this is giving somebody some good advice. This is providing a shoulder to cry on. Um, this is helping raising a child, seeking advice from family friends, trying to keep everyone calm, trusting in human nature, being secretive. It's not wise to expose your true feelings whenever the King of Cups comes out. Um, you're a natural healer. You need to follow your hunches. Use your intuition. Uh, the king has learned to discipline his emotions. He appears secretive and withdrawn, but he's highly developed. Um, he has highly developed psychic abilities. He understands emotions. He's compassionate, empathetic. He's naturally diplomatic. He's sensitive to the needs of others. He hates conflict. In a relationship, he loves emotions, and he gives wonderful gifts. His heart was broken in the past, but he's toughened up a little bit. In his career, he needs to help those that are emotionally damaged, and he needs a creative outlet. He is a Pisces. So you could have a Pisces in your mind. He's deep wisdom. He's inner knowing. He's intuition. He is mature. He's in full control of his emotions 100% of the time. He's disciplined. He's a guru. He's a ladies man. We have the three of pentacles in the reverse. So there's a lack of teamwork here. A disregard for skills. Cutting corners. Not doing things the right way. I have the lovers reversed. The lovers is the card of Gemini. Um, whenever the lovers reverses, there's communication breakdowns. You're getting wrong messages. There's infidelity. There could be cheating here. Uh, using sex as a weapon. Jealousy, possessiveness, divorce, separation. There's low self-esteem. There's a lack of self-love. If you're thinking about moving on or moving forward, it's not the right time to do that. Mentally, 
mentally you don't feel like it's the right time to move on, but it is the right time to move on. This is all how you feel mentally. This is all your internal world. Now let's explore your external world. What's going on in Gemini's home and family life? Three cards for Gemini's home and family life. Two more. All right, so things are very slow very practical. These are people that you can count on. We have the um, Knight, the Knight of Shells in the upright. This is the Knight of Cups in the traditional deck. He's romantic. He's poetic. He's imaginative. He loves music and art. He can be a man or a woman. He's elegant and sophisticated. He's sensitive and sentimental. He's your true knight in shining armor. He was touched by beauty, soft and gentle. He speaks quietly and calmly. He's in touch with his feelings. He's easily hurt or offended. He can be a little bit moody and sulky at times. He's in touch with his feminine side. He loves to hang out with his friends. He gets lost in creative projects. He loves to read. He's more of a wine drinker than a beer drinker. He's good mannered, polite, peace loving, seeker of harmony, diplomatic, a dreamer. He idealizes love and he loves life. He kind of sets unrealistic goals at times and he always avoids conflict. He could be a new relationship that's coming in, and he's a Scorpio. He brings that passionate, sexual Scorpio energy. We have the Ace of Swords. So there's breakthrough in the situation. There's new plans, new ideas. There's clarity of thought, a new outlook on life, a new mindset. It could be new legal or medical news. So you might hear things about something in terms of your health, or you could be hearing something in terms of your wealth or legal, new communication. And then we have the queen of starfish in the upright. So this is a housekeeper. And these are character cards. Uh, so the knight, the Scorpio, that's a character card. This is also a character card. So this is a housekeeper. This is money coming in, being financially secure. Your finances are improving. You work with what you have. You're, you provide stability, a stable home life for your family. Being true to your word. Your pets, if you have any, mean a lot to you. You spend time at home. A very wonderful homemaker. This is a time for gardening, to get out in nature, being down to earth, practical, realistic. No nonsense here. She knows what she wants. She has a healthy, happy, and fulfilled life. She's big hearted. She helps her friends and neighbors out of situations and binds. She gives, she boosts, she makes people feel better. She's very organized. She's an excellent housewife and homemaker. She's a homebody. She um, loves animals. She's strongly attached to animals. She's prosperity. She's success. She's wealth. She's Capricorn. Three cards for Gemini's money, please. Three cards for Gemini's money, please. Three cards for Gemini's money. Okay, so we have the sun in reverse. 
Uh, so this is Leo energy. This is worry. So you're worried about money. There's doubts. Um, being worried about money. Things are coming in really fast. Really fast moving. We have the Knight of Wands in the upright. Um, so this is uh, taking up a sport, being on the defensive, getting exercise, not settling down, need for personal freedom, a strong ego, being flirtatious, sudden arrivals, great new beginnings, unfinished projects, being impulsive, a ladies man. There's a time to take action here, but you need to think first. Developing your potential. You're coming out of heartache. You're letting go of the past. You're, you're releasing things. There's a release from pain. There's forgiveness. There's moving on. This is Libra energy. I see in your family and home life that there is a little bit of conflict here with whatever is new coming in, this new communication coming in. It's conflicting with this homemaker. It's conflicting with the uh, Queen of Pentacles whoever the homemaker is, whoever the stability is. I see in your money, there's a lot of ambition here. There's a lot of drive, there's a lot of aggression, there's a lot of energy, you're, you're like, go get there, go get her. Uh, you see money and you're going there and you're getting it, you're getting her done. Mentally, there's conflict. You feel like things are just disorganized. And you feel like you can't let go, like it's not the right time to let go of things and to move on mentally. But it is the time to move on. It is a time to let go. It is a time to let new come in. Give me three cards uh, that will let us know what the outcome will be if Gemini lets go and moves on. What is the outcome if Gemini lets go and moves on? Right, the first card is your energy. Your energy again. So you're you're in your energy. You're in your power. All of these are swords. All of these are swords that came out. Um, so all of these are your energy. So you're in your power. The so first we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So she's very hypercritical. She's cold. She's bitter. She's vindictive. She's cruel. She lies. She cheats. She plays mind games. Again, she's a character card. There's a period of rest and reflection. Conquering depression and anxiety. It, it's like an enforced period of rest. What is Gemini's family and home life like? What is Gemini's family and home life like? I'm sorry. What is Gemini's social and romantic life like? What is Gemini's social and romantic life like? Three cards for Gemini's social and romantic life. Three cards for Gemini's social and romantic life. 
lot. Another character card. There's a lot of people here. Another character card. And there's lots of options. So we have lots of people here. We have a Scorpio. We have a Capricorn. We have a Pisces. Now we're bringing in a Sagittarius. Um, any Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And lots of options. No, I'm sorry. This is Aries. We have the Queen of Wands here. So the Queen of Wands values freedom. She has an independent life. All of her problems are faced head on. She encourages growth and self-acceptance. Her business is tireless, fearless. She's exciting. She's a visionary. She runs a business in her sleep. She's highly successful. She gets up and go attitude. A whirlwind of efficiency. A brilliant organizer. She's active in many clubs. She achieves her goals. She's always rushing things to get it done. She thrives on excitement and drama. She loves a good fight, even if it doesn't involve her. She's spontaneous. She's sexy. She's radiant. She's healthy. She takes charge of the situation. She takes charge of her health. She's determined. This is, you can do this. It's exercise, getting active, being open and sincere. Then we have the Page of Cups. So this is good news is on its way. There could be some gossip here, a gut feeling, um, being invited to a party, developing your sixth sense, being a peacemaker, a mediator people pleaser, early stages of love, the start the start of a new love, um, being head over heels in love, puppy love. This is a soft, gentle person. He's very sensitive, angelic. It could be a child. Very quiet. Can play happily on their own for hours likes friends, pale, weak, has beautiful features, penetrating eyes, an old soul, otherworldly at times, daydreams a lot, loving, warm, affectionate, will constantly ask you if it's okay to do something, very artistic and creative, very imaginative, there's lots of options here. So many options that you feel overwhelmed. Trying to find meaning in life. Soul searching. Having multiple choices. Daydreaming. Feeling out of touch with reality. Wishful thinking. Fantasy illusion. Again, we have the Scorpio energy coming. Three cards for Gemini's career, please. Two more cards for Gemini's career. Okay, right, so we have Justice. There could be a Libra involved. Um, so whatever's happening in your career is very just and fair and in your favor. I have the Five of Cups in the reverse. So you're moving on in your career. You're accepting things. You're forgiving. Again, this is Scorpio energy. I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So Things are being called out. There's challenges in your career. You're breaking habits. This is Aquarius energy. So an Aquarius could be causing issues in your career. There could be theft of some sort in your career uh, caused by an Aquarius. But you're accepting it, moving on. And in the end, everything is fair and balanced. 
Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Ooh. Mm -hmm.